Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on separating names into first and last name fields using Microsoft Excel. So this video will show you how to take a name like John Smith, it's a one string, and separate into one field that contains the name John and one field that contains the name Smith. I have a separate video which will show you how to do the opposite, which is take two separate fields and combine them into one string. So oftentimes in counseling research, we need to manipulate strings or numbers prior to data analysis. And even if the analysis will be conducted using SPSS, I prefer to manipulate the data using Excel because of the many functions that are available. So in this video, I'll be showing you several different ways that you may want to separate name data into different fields. So let's start with the first name here, John Smith. And in this example, we'll be separating it into a first name of John and a last name of Smith. So fairly straightforward. And I have another example here, uh, Robert Williams the same uh, type of split. So this is the most uh, basic level and I'll start here just by inputting my own name for the purposes of demonstrating how I design these functions. So as we look at this function in the first name field here for the name Robert, you can see I'm using a combination of the left function and the find function. So this is fairly straightforward in the example I have here. We'll start with left, uh, the text, which is the name, and then find, in this case, I'm looking for the space, and the text again is the name. And that'll return just the first name. Now, it's important to note that there's actually an extra space here that you can't see. So if I were go to go back into this function and add a minus one to the end of the find function, the result would be the same. Whether you use the minus one or not, it won't affect how the data imports into SPSS. So I'll just leave it with the extra space for this example. But know that to be technically correct, meaning for the first letter to be T, and the first letter in the string to be T, and the last letter in the string to be D, you'd have to have that negative one uh, added on to the end of the find function. So then moving on to last name, you see for last name using some different functions. I'm using the right function, the length function, and again the find function. This function starts with right, then the string, then the length of the string, and you subtract find, and the text will be a space, and of course the string be the name. So there you have the last name. So first and last name split into two separate cells. So what if you have a situation where you're given the first name, the middle initial, and the last name, and you want to split it up with the first name, middle initial in one cell, and the last name in another? So it's going to be fairly similar to the first example. So I'll put in my name in that format. We'll take a look at the first name. So we'll start with left, then the string, and now we'll go to find, except this time we're looking for the period. So the quotation mark, period, quotation mark. 
and then the string again. So I'll give you the first name and the middle initial. Moving over to the last name, we'll start with right, then the string, and then the length of the string minus find. We're going to be looking for, again, the period. And this time we're going to subtract 1. And remember the other example, the subtracting of 1 or not didn't really make a difference in terms of importing the data. In this example, you do need to subtract the 1 because the extra space uh, without it, I'll show you it without it, appears at the beginning. So there's a space, then the G. Without the, without the negative 1. So I'll make sure that, at least in this instance, that we do have the negative 1 in there. So how about a situation where you have the same data as from here, the first name, middle initial, and last name, and you want it converted to two separate cells except you want the middle initial to be dropped. So again I'll start by putting my name in that format and I'll enter left the string and then find and this time a space instead of a period. And that'll give you the first name and it'll cut out the middle initial. And as you might imagine for the last name, it's going to be the same function as in the previous example. So it'll be right, and the equal sign there, it'll be right, the string, the length of the string, minus find, and you're searching for the period. Minus one, close parentheses. So this will convert first name, middle, initial, last name into first name, last name. So how about a situation where you have the last name comma the first name. This is a fairly common way to express a name. So you have last name, comma, first name, and you want that separated into two separate cells. So again, I'll start by putting my name in this format. So we'll start with the first name, and we're going to want to use write, and then the string, and then length of the string, minus find. Here we want a space. So that'll give you the first name. So notice on in the uh, previous example to get the first name we use the left function and the last name we use the right function but here it's reversed and that's because of the positioning of the first and last name in this format. So taking a look at the last name, this will be left, the string, and we're going to be using the find function to find the comma. So it's quotation mark, comma, quotation mark. and minus 1 at the end of that find function. So you can convert last name comma first name into first name last name. So then the final example I have here 
What if you have the name in this format, which is last name, comma, first name, middle initial, and you want it separated into first name, middle initial, and last name. So again, I'll start by putting my name in that format, moving over here to first name. The functions we'll be using here are the same as the functions we used in the previous examples. So we'll start with write the string, then length and the string, minus find, and a space. And then two parentheses. So again, identical to the one above. And then again, this formula would be identical. So it'd be left string, find, in this case, the comma, and then minus one. So now you have split last name, comma, first name, middle initial into first name, middle initial, and last name. So there's one final function I want to demonstrate, and it's similar to this example here, except what if you have a name and you want, like in this format with the middle initial, but you only want the first name and the last name to appear. So I'm just going to autofill this down, and of course the last name function is going to be the same, so I'm just going to autofill that. I'm also going to autofill this example here with the usage of uh, write and length and find, that method, to get the first name and middle initial. I'm going to edit this so that only the first name appears. So at the beginning I'm going to include left, and then at the end, a comma, and then find, then a space. And for the within text, I'm going to copy the write function. And paste that in. And close that with the parentheses. So there you have last name, comma, first name, middle initial, reduced to first name and last name in separate cells. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.